In this video, which is part 19 of the coin market cap, we're going to focus on how we can put in like a branding image here. And what we want to do, of course, with the branding image is if we move it, it should maintain its position nicely. And there we are, as you can see here, as I move this, it will show nicely and keeps it or maintain it in the same position. Let's start to explore how to do this. So in this part, we're going to continue on. This is part 19. What is very important here is we have come a long way from making our chart functional, but of course we want to brand it properly, put in this picture here, which is quite similar to the coin market cap charts. So I have a image here, and you can see here the image is 125 by 25 pixels. And you can see this is just basically this very simple image, a simple gray image with a transparent background. So I'm going to recommend anything like that. It is, I just put in my domain name and a logo of chart.js and I make that black and white for grayscale. So we're going to use that. I'm going to put it here in the corner. So that would mean that we need to calculate how to put it in. We need to figure out how to put an image here. So let's start to do that now. Let's scroll down here and we're going to go all the way down here in the plugins. And I'm going to create a new plugin here and I'm going to call this the image logo. And of course, make sure you spell it correctly. And you can give it any name you want. Copy this, and then I'm going to scroll up here, enter, enter, and then I'm going to say here slash slash, and just indicate this as a block image logo plugin block. And I'm going to say a constant image logo equals, and then we're going to say ID, put in this, but of course we won't be using this. Next, what we're going to say here is when would we like to draw the logo? What I've noticed on the coin market cap chart. The logo overlaps on top of the lines and I don't like that personally I believe the line information or the data points is more important that should be highlighted or just should always be on top and the image should be at the back so I'm going to put it at the back but if you want to do exactly the same as coin market cap where you put it on the top I'll show you as well how it's basically very simple so to put it at the back we're going to say here before data sets draw and if you want to put it at the front or on top of the uh, overlapping the line so on top of it then you would just put in your after data set draw so after the data set then the image will be shown but for me again I don't like that it's not logical for me because I want to make sure that the image shows so I do before or sorry make sure that the data set is uh, always more prominent visible so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to say here chart art and the plugin options. And I won't be using those two here, but we're going to use the chart object here. We're going to do an object destructuring. And if you want to understand what is object destructuring, again, check out in my description. You can find a video about that. So I'm going to say here, constant. And I'm going to say here, curly braces, chart. And here what I need is basically the following, CTX comma chart area, because we want to draw the position of the chart of, a, of the image. And I'm going to say here, I'm not sure if we're going to use all of these, but we can just put in top, bottom, left, right. Well, most likely we won't be using them all, but these are the most important ones. So once I did that, I'm going to say ctx.save to save all items above. Once we have that, we're going to put in the image, but the image we must first define. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make an image object, but I will make sure the image object is not in this plugin. And the reason why is the plugin will have this animation that will load basically 30 times every time you refresh. Doing that and loading the image 30 times would basically be a very unrecommended thing. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to say constant logo. I'm going to say here a new image object basically. And this could be also at the very top because this is basically outside of any of these blocks. So but uh, the reason I don't want to put it at the top so we don't have to scroll, we just save some time. Then what I'm going to say here is the logo.source, where the image is located. And then in here, we're going to grab the URL of the image. So wherever your image is located, you have to grab it. In my case, it's just in my download folder, very simple. And I'm going to put it in there. So there we have that. Once we did this, the next thing what we need to do is now start to draw this image. So to draw the image, I'm going to say a CTX dot draw image, very straightforward. And then within here, 
we have a few variables we need to consider. Number one would be the URL of the image, which in this case is the logo, which will automatically understand it. But I'll just put in here just the basic values, and after that you're going to fine tune them with the right values. And here would be the X starting position, the Y starting position, and then we're going to define here the size of the image. So we could say here the image would be maybe a uh, um, 10 pixels, let's say size uh, or IMG width, image size, which is very uh, appropriate term, and an IMG height, which would be the height of the image. If you look at my image, it is 125 by 25 pixels, so width 125 and height 25. So what we can do then is, of course, you can reassign this. So I'm going to change that. We're going to put it in here. So what I'm going to do here now is, I'm going to say enter. I'm going to say constant, and let's say image width. And we can just assign any value you want here. I'm going to just put it on, let's say 20. So if this will be 20, and, and this is 125, so it's divide by five. This will divide by five as well, times four. Basically, what I'm going to do now is comma this. And then I'm going to say here image height and put this 125 will be 100, of course. So that will be the, the uh, I guess I am uh, doing a mistake here, sorry. This is not the height, of course. This should be the width. Uh, sorry, the height is 20 and the width is 100. Yes, because it's the width. My bad. So once we have that, we have this here. If we save this, let's see what happens right now. We're not really fully done. And you can see here, it's not really done here yet because it doesn't load yet the image. So what I want to do here is now solve this tiny issue is first check if the image has been loaded. So I'm going to say if logo.complete and this would indicate that if the logo, which is the image object, has been fully loaded. If this is the case, in that case, we want to do a certain item which is uh, just copy this cut that out put it in there then else what we're going to do here is if we didn't load it yet what I'm going to say here, logo dot on load I'm going to make it basically a callback functionality and just say here very simple chart dot draw to draw the item and then we should be done so as you see here, it is on load. We make sure we have that. And then we have here ctx.restore. Just to restore or undo everything what we did here. And this should give us now the image. Of course, oh, I, before I even am done here, I forgot this part. We need to just give this the proper terms. I'm going to say here logo. I'm going to say here x and y starting point. So this one will be tricky because we have the width and the height still to consider. So what I'm going to do here, very simple, is I'm going to say here, if I want to put it on the right side here somewhere, so I will say on the right, and then the height will be, needs to be determined. So I'm going to say here at the bottom. If I do this, save, refresh. All right, so you might say it's hard to see, but it's here. But we have to push this more to the left side. So what I'm going to do here is I say here on the right minus whatever our width is, which makes sense. So if I do this, save. There we are, but I don't like it. I want to put it here up, a little bit more up, but not on the bars, but just above the bars. So what we have to do here is we have to calculate a little bit. And besides, you can see here, we're just very close on this. Let's give this a little bit more space. So let's say here, it minus this first. And then we say again, minus, let's say 10 pixels save refresh there we are all right and now push it up to push up again here for the bottom we're going to say here minus uh well we can say height but no let's say here 100 pixels so i have to see how it will be positioned and well to be honest that would be quite decent so this is basically the way to do it if you don't uh, like this amount here what we could do here is basically change that we could change that here maybe to a bigger size let's do the original size of 125 save that let's see here there we are and then we have this one here if you want to know how it will look like if it's on top of it we're going to say here after save that 
refresh, you can see here now it is overlapping the lines itself. Of course, I don't want that, so I'm going to undo this, save, there we are. And then if I change the size of the chart, move it, you can see here maybe, uh, I guess, uh, as the chart becomes smaller, we should have maybe a set rule for that, but that, well, we could basically say the height here could be maybe based on this one line here. That would be even more uh, better. So we say here the height, then we have to see here, we have to say X, we need to get the scale. All right, so what I'm going to do is just one final fine tuning here. Let's say scales, X and Y. All right, and then we're going to say here we have this, and this maybe we can do, then we don't have to do this here, but we say here, X dot get, uh, sorry, not the X, but the Y. And we get a pixel for the value of the tick, and the tick I want to grab is probably number two, or the second tick here. So I say number two, say refresh. All right, there we are. So that would be it, and this is because of our, am I correct, anything else? I think that should be more than enough. If I adjust that, it is now more consistent, as you can see absolutely beautiful and this is basically how we add up the image here.